from Shane Pinata. I'm Colleen Thomas. This is Everyday Magic for Ukraine. Today we will honor the words of the survivors. Welcome to the circle. So the only item you need today is your open heart. And before we begin, I would like to let you know that we're going to go rather deep today. So I'd like to give you some options. If you're feeling strong and you'd like to stay with us while we listen to a few of the words of the survivors of Russia's war against Ukraine, then just stay here. But if that doesn't feel right for you today, or your heart is feeling particularly tender, feel free to check out some alternate episodes linked in the show notes. There are two of them for you to choose from. One is called A Kite, and it's about taking a mental health break. And the other is called Your Body, in which we explore embodied peace. So you have some options. Do whatever is right for you today. As we arrive here together, I invite you to join me in taking a breath. And maybe notice if you'd like to shake out any tension or gently sway or move or Let your body tell you how your body might want to move in this moment. Maybe some shaking, gentle, gentle shaking. Maybe some deeper breaths. Maybe a little bit of dancing. Moving your arms or your legs if that's comfortable, if that's possible for you. Just go ahead and let your body take up a little bit of space right now. So before we begin today, I'd like to invite you to place a hand on your heart if that feels good. You might place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your belly. Do what feels right to you. And see if you can connect with the vibration of your heart. How is your heart right now? Is there anything in your heart that needs your attention? Any emotions that are asking to be held or noticed, acknowledged, honored? And see if you'd like to give these emotions a hug, a hand to hold, a nod of acknowledgement. What do you need in this moment to feel heard, seen, known? So I'd like to share some words today with you from the Museum of Civilian Voices of the Renat Akhmatov Foundation. This is a website that is linked on the Creative Ways to Support Ukraine page. Today I'd just like to share a few words with you from four survivors. And the first words come from a woman named Victoria, who was living in Zaporizhia. And she said, 
My husband woke me up and said, Get up, the war has begun. I said, Are you joking? He said, No, the war has begun. And just notice, how does it feel to hear those words? To hear this woman telling the story of learning of the war starting and not believing it. Notice your connection to the earth. And I invite you to join me in taking a breath for Victoria and her words. And the second voice I'd like to share with you is from a young man named Mox. Being a photo reporter had been his dream since he was 15. He's from Kyiv. And he said, every Ukrainian photographer is dreaming of taking a photo that would stop the war. And breathing. Bearing witness to the words of this man. The words of this man doing what he loved to do. And the third voice I would like to share with you is a little harder to hear. It's from a man named Dimitro. He lived in Bucha. He stayed in Bucha to help the citizens in Bucha endure the occupation. And he almost died. And he said, I was worried that my children and wife wouldn't know where I was buried. We hear words like this a lot on the news, but we don't often take time to let them land. And it makes a lot of sense because they're very, very scary. And yet, these are the voices of real people. We will transition now to the words of the last person we'll hear from today. Seven-year-old Sasha. She was injured and she got a prosthetic leg. She was a gymnast and she wanted to perform. And she said to her mom, Mom, I want to perform again. Just let that land. A seven-year-old injured in a war who tells her mom, Mom, I want to perform again. And she did. The entire auditorium gave her a standing ovation, even the judges. Notice your heart. Notice your breathing. Notice your grounding. And we're going to transition out of listening to these stories now. And as we do so, I invite you to again connect with the ground. Again, connect with your heart and maybe your belly. Notice what you're standing, sitting, or lying on. Just make sure you're still in your body. If you're realizing now that maybe you shouldn't have stayed and maybe this was too much information, 
I honor that as well. That is a challenge I often have, how much to listen, how to take care of myself while listening. If that's you right now, feel free to check out the kite episode in the show notes. It'll give you a nice counterbalance, help you ground, help you find a place of freedom and joy in your heart. May we remember that our ability to show up and witness the pain and the challenge of others is a gift to them and to us. May it be so. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. And please consider inviting a friend. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our new 10-part series for Ukrainian listeners on YouTube. It's called 10 Minutes for Your Heart. Find it at 10minutesforyourheart.com. Our music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.